Hello students, uh, you are going to be in this video designing a box with a hinged lid like this. So we're going to make a, a double lid like this. Um, and we're going to start off by designing it with the, the lid closed. Though. So you're going to get something like this uh, so that those lids can open and you're going to hide all your goodies in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, you are going to be starting with a a box template like this. Um, and uh, the first thing we want to do is get rid of this lid here that um, is a little different than what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and delete that. And that's that. I clicked on the top piece and deleted it. Um, and you know what we might want to do right now before we go too far is to change the size of the box here to a size that we like. So under variables, these are all some, some set variables that are preset in there. Uh, if we want our box to be three inches instead of four inches in length, we can change that. We can change the height to something else also, maybe 1.5. Uh, for our class, we're going to have some size constraints or limits so that we don't make giant boxes or boxes that are uh, not going to work out well for using in the laser cutter. So look at our web page for the limits on that. Um, the next thing we want to do is after deleting that lid, we have all these gaps in here that uh, we don't really want right now. So let's go ahead and delete all those. Um, so we are going to, um, in this video, uh, we're going to remove all the high parts and lower those down. So we're going to say extrude. Instead of filling those gaps, we can click on all these surfaces and we're going to remove them. Right now, it looks like I'm adding, but we are, once we got them all selected, I'm going to go to remove and that's going too far down. So instead of putting in the perfect measurement right here, a nice little way to get around that is to select up to face and that face is going to be this. Let's see if I can, let me select that. There we go. Click on up the face. You got to click on that after you do that. And boom, right there. Now it's going to just go whoop, and stop once you get to that surface. And look at that. That's going to happen to all of those. The last thing we need to do is merge scope. Um, or we can say, uh, yeah, so merge scope. We click on that and we select all the pieces we want to have this material removed from. And we got all those selected. And that seems like it might be doing something weird right now, but there it goes. For some reason that flipped on us. There it is. That's looking pretty good. All those pieces are going away now. And we have that nice flat top of the box there. All right. So now we are going to start by drawing the hinge with the, the hole in it so that the peg that's coming from the other piece uh, will, will fit in there. So, um, you know what? I lied. Let's do the other piece first. So we're going to come over here and look down from the top and we're going to say sketch, new sketch on this surface here or one of these side pieces right here so that our surface is lining up right on that surface there. And we want, uh, since we're making a, a double lid, we want to start off by putting a center line in there. That's going to be super helpful for us. So finding that center point, whoop, finding the center line there. All right, that's looking pretty good. And then we are going to do another line that lines up right there. Now you can see how it's kind of snapping onto that outside line, going all the way down there, again to that end. Uh, and then we are going to go this way with a line now. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to hide all our parts now so it's clear what I'm doing. And we're going to put a little zigzag in here. The size of it, don't worry about right now. Um, and we're going to go like that. So when we extrude this, it's going to be that kind of shape there. right? So let's put some measurements on that right now. Uh, let's push uh, the dimension button. 
and we're going to select that there, and that's going to be the thickness. That should be a value that's preset in there. And for this measurement, let's do twice the thickness. So it's a cool little trick. Just like in math class, you can say twice two times x. You can say two times thickness. You can say two times a lot of different things in here, all those different variables. And that's going to be twice the thickness. Two multiplied by the thickness. All right. And then I just took all the time to draw that over here. I could go draw the same thing up here, but you know, let's be lazy and let's draw a line there. Uh, and I'm going to turn that into a construction line. So it's not really part of our design. We've done that before, I hope. And I'm going to select that as my near line. I know I'm going fast and doing a lot of things, but hopefully you are pausing this. Uh, and notice I'm dragging that around there. I'm grabbing all those pieces at once so it nears it up there. I just drag the box around all that stuff there. And I'm done nearing. I'm going to say OK. I'm done sketching as well. And I'm going to extrude this now. I'm going to select on that surface. Sometimes it forgets these other little parts. I want those parts as well. The depth or the thickness of this new piece should be the thickness of the wood we're using again. And we're going to say OK. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's unhide all our other parts. Looking pretty good there. We got one of our lids. And why not? Let's go make our other one on the other side. Again, let's be lazy. We're going to use this mirror tool. This is a, a 3D modeling mirror tool. So we're clicking on that. So now it says select entities to be mirrored. That's the piece I want to mirror, the mirror plane. Instead of a line, it needs a flat surface since we're working in 3D now. The mirror plane is going to be this side surface like that. Oh, and look at that. And we make sure it's on new piece. Bingo, look at that. This whole video is wrong because I did that wrong, didn't I? No, I didn't. We'll make it work. All right. Okay. Sorry for the, I was just thinking about some issue we might have, but we're not going to have that issue. So uh, selecting sketch. And now we're going to sketch on this side piece here to add some things to this, this side wall here. And I'm going to make a nice view there. All right. And next, we want to use this use tool. Uh, and we're going to select that. And we want to use that square. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that square uh, as well. And I'm going to need this surface as well. And I'm going to say, OK, I'm done. Oop. All sorts of problems today. I'm sorry. I'm not done. Don't push done. Uh, we're still in sketch number five. I apologize. Uh, let's hide the, all the pieces so I don't have to look at those for a moment. All right. So here we go. We are trying to make a circle. Let's use three point circle. And we're going to click and three points there, so we have a circle that's going to go around that peg there, right? So that's going to be the hinge part. I'm going to hide that again just so we can kind of see what's going on here. All right. And I want to now make another circle. Actually, this might be better as an arc. Let's do a center point arc. And I'm going to say from here. Oh, you know what? Let's do a three-point circle. I lied again. I'm sorry, guys. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? All right, so I got my wits about me again. My apologies. We're going to use a center point arc. We're going to click this center point. We're going to click here. And whoop, we're going to go over there. 
And now we got that nice little hinge thing going on. We're going to now uh, mirror this because we're lazy. We don't want to draw the whole thing again on the other side. And so we're mirroring that, cutting off that tool, changing that to a construction line. And we're clicking mirror on that line. And I want to mirror this and I want to mirror that. Those two circles are the important things. Everything else I don't really care about right now. Uh, excuse me, I need that little piece there so it's a closed shape, right? So that should all turn gray. And I'm saying, okay. All right. So now we got a nice looking piece with a hinge here. We're going to say, uh, show me all these pieces again. All right, now we can kind of see what's going on. Now let's, let's uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, extrude this. And we're gonna say this piece needs to get extruded. And this piece needs to get extruded. And we are going to say, we want to add those. We want to add those to this piece using the merge scope there. And notice it's also going the wrong direction right now. So we're gonna to have to flip that. And then we don't want it going that far. So if we, we could do the uh, up to face again, if we want, but that means some pieces are hidden in there. So you know what, let's just do this and we'll type in thickness here. Blind, leave it at blind and we'll do the thickness there. And you'll see that's looking pretty good. That's gonna add that to that piece. Um, ooh, but you know what I see going on here? This isn't gonna add everything I need. So we need to add that piece also. And then in a moment, we're gonna have to subtract a little piece from the bottom so we get that full shape there. All right, that's looking pretty good over there already. So we're gonna also say, okay. Uh, but the thing we see right here is that this circle hole here is not the full circle. So it's not gonna work very well right now. So we have to do one more extrude, an extra little step, but we need to find that little piece and find that little piece. And this time we wanna remove some material and we want to remove it from this front piece and the depth a little hidden there should be the thickness again. But I'm doing a lot of things, but I'm hopefully you've been pausing the video as you go here. All right. And now we have one side done there. Not too shabby, right? So that is the same thing we want on the other side over here. So, I know this video is getting very long. Let's go delete this piece. That's gonna be called the, uh, that's the back piece, right? Back piece, let's delete that. Now that piece is gone. Now we want to uh, make a copy of this and put it over there. So we're going to do a linear pattern again. That's the piece we want. The direction is this direction, selecting that that line that is going in the direction we want the pattern in. We're going to switch the direction so it's going the right way. And then this is going to be the length of the box is the uh, variable we want to use. Oop, that's actually the width that seems. There it is, width is, and then it's over there in the right spot, almost. You'll see we're off by just the thickness of the material. So we'll actually say width minus thickness, and boom, it's in the right spot now. We officially have a box that has all the pieces that we want and the hinges are gonna let us rotate this box uh, to open it up. So uh, 
Again, uh, you are welcome to put some decorations on this box. There's going to be another video down below. Maybe you want some little tabs on there. Uh, you can do that using the information that's in the, the next video uh, to be able to have little handles to open it up uh, or all that good stuff. Uh, put some fun things on there, uh, but you officially have made a hinged box. Let me know if there's questions. I know this one is going to be tricky for you. So please don't hesitate to chat with us in our meeting and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.